Dietrich Bonhoeffer. <laughs> Professor Niebuhr has a little surprise for you. Freshly translated, hot off the press, a copy of your discipleship. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bribe. <laughs> We're hoping we can keep you so happy and so preoccupied you won't have time to think about returning to Germany. <laughs> You'd rather go to sunny California first. What's on your mind, Dietrich? Frank, I have to go home. To the Nazis. Are you sure? Yes. They'll put you in prison, Dietrich. You know that. Maybe. See, if I stayed, I think I'd become a living lie to everything I believe in. We wouldn't want that to happen. Christianity itself. Adolf Hitler demands nothing less than total commitment. He is the elected chancellor, yes. But more than that, he considers himself der Führer. And as the leader, he craves to be the conscience of every living German. But his claim upon us is a claim that a Christian can only accept from Christ himself. Nice bishop is rewriting Holy Scripture. Only those who cry out for the Jews have the right to sing Gregorian chants. Thank you, Hitler. Christ himself was a Jew. And in the eyes of the Lord, we are all one. Dr. 
Bonfa? Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Until further notice, you're forbidden to speak in public, to publish your writings, and to teach. And you're to report to the Gestapo once a week. Is that clear? Good evening. Be careful. Gentlemen, it's my duty to arrest you if you refuse to take the oath. So let us please recite it together. I swear to be true and obedient. I swear to be true and obedient. The Führer of the German Reich, Adolf Hitler. To the Führer of the German Reich, Adolf Hitler. To abide by the law and fulfill my duty. To abide by the law and fulfill my duty. So help me God. That's ridiculous. People know me, they know I'm Jewish, and they still respect me. The Nazis surely have other things to do than go around arresting every Jew they see here. You're wrong. Did you read this? That Nazi trash. It may be, but it tells us what and how the Nazis are thinking. On the outbreak of war, the Jews will be exterminated without a trace. There it is, black and white. That's just propaganda. They can't, they won't. They do and they will. It has never come back on a promise. I'm afraid your brother is right. Even if he is only a theologian. Sabine, it is too dangerous. You've got to leave Germany. Why? Afraid to have a Jew in the family? The way you were afraid to speak at my father's funeral. You have no choice. You, you must leave. Now. But where should we go? This is our home. Where would I find work? First go to Switzerland. And then to England. No. I'm afraid we can't afford to bury our heads in the sand. But in 1919, when the British again curtailed civil liberties, Gandhi organized his first All India Civil Disobedience campaign. He called it a Satyagraha, meaning truth false. Since then, Gandhi has consistently continued to lead strong movements, non-violently, against untouchability for Muslim Hindu unity, women's rights, basic education. Our role models, you see, are not only found in Christianity. I'd like to visit Gandhi someday, very much. I'd, I'd love to travel to India and live with him and his followers. Do as he does, learn from him, and try my, my utmost to... Come on. In you get. I'm sorry to see you go, but under the circumstances, I think it's the best thing to do. You might lose everything that you've ever loved and wanted if you stay. I know. Well, so long, twin one. Well, so long, 
twin too. I miss you. Please be careful. The Nazis aren't your friends either. I know. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I'm sorry for that remark about my father's funeral. There was no need for it. No, no, you don't have to be sorry. I deserved it. My bishop asked me not to speak, and I didn't. But I should have. Drive safely, Gerhard. Dietrich? Ruth. Oh. <laughs> what happened? The Gestapo. They closed the place down. And the boys? Are they safe? They were forced to join the army. All of them? No. Some were arrested for refusing. But you can't stay here. Come along. monstrous little corporal has done. We are at war with Poland. The radio says we were attacked. Well, if the radio says it, must be true. What on earth will he do next? Well, that means that uh, England and France will... Yes. Does that mean Father Max are fighting? Unlikely they only left this morning, dear. Oh, Dietrich, you remember my granddaughter Maria, don't you? She took confirmation lessons with you. Uh, I think I'd better go back to Berlin. Oh. I, I understand. I'll drive you to the station, yes? what you are playing? Just some Beethoven. I liked it. Very peaceful. Yeah, some people believe that if we listen to more Beethoven, the world would be a better and uh, more peaceful place. Do you believe that? Wouldn't do any harm. Are you going to enlist? Like Father and Max? 
So many people ask me that. So what would you have me do? Pick up a gun and fight? I don't think this is what God wants from me. There's sure to be something you can do. Yeah, like what? Maybe it was a mistake going back to Germany. Dietrich? Yeah? You know I left the Justice Department? Yes, I know. I'm working now with General Oster and Admiral Canaris at the Abwehr. Military intelligence. <laughs> Not everyone in the military wants this war, you know? No, they're all pacifists, I suppose. Oster just leaked Hitler's invasion plans to Holland and Belgium. You shouldn't be telling me this, Hans. Why not? <laughs> Have you thought about what you're going to do when your caller papers arrive? Yes, I thought about it, but I don't know what I'm going to do. We can get you a certificate that would make you unavailable for military service. A what? A certificate? You'd be classified indispensable. What do you mean, indispensable? The resistance needs a courier. Someone with international contacts and a valid reason to travel. Someone who can let the Allies know what we are doing and negotiate a ceasefire. Officially, you'd be a theologian, but unofficially... A spy. <laughs> Unpleasant, I know, for a man of God. Come on, Hans. Wait a minute. You're asking me to be a spy? Yes. I'm a minister. I'm not a politician. <laughs> but that's why the Allies will listen to you. You're trusted. Respect it. That is treason, Hans. Treason or not, we've got to get rid of Hitler. What does get rid of mean? Exactly what it says. But Hans, he was elected. Hitler is the truly chosen authority. The people idolize him, even more so now because of his military but success. he has perverted his authority. Dietrich, we've been through every scenario. I'll buy the law, arrest him, put him on trial. You know very well there is no law now. He has destroyed it. But murder, Hans. Murder. That is what you're suggesting, isn't it? He's the murderer, Dietrich. And he will continue to murder. I can't, Hans. I'm sorry, I can't. Come home with me. I want to show you something. Arson, forced death, murder, lies, suffering, extermination camps. It's all documented here. The true history of the Third Reich. What do you want me to do? It's your last chance. We're giving you papers that say you're from military intelligence. Operation 7. Operation 7? You leave by way of Switzerland. We'll never work for the military. Mrs. Friedenthal, you won't have to. That's just your cover story. Hmm? You'll be traveling with Dr. and Mrs. Rosenthal the day after tomorrow. Until then, you'll stay here. How many Jews have you already moved out? Several. And they all agree to leave the country as up their agents? Yes, they have. 
Here are your papers. Friedenthal, Charlotte. Weinberg, Meyer. Captain Dudem, ich gehe, Josef Möller. Herr Rowan, we don't have much time. Fingerhut, Gieder. Goldfarb, Rolf. The Gestapo. This was issued by the Gestapo. Of course it was issued by the Gestapo. The Gestapo! Why don't you talk to her? Charlotte, this is your only hope. <laughs> trust us. Just trust us. Us? You're... You're working for the Abwehr? I'm, I'm trying to help. Help? Please trust me. You don't have to do anything. Just tell the world out there what is happening here. But why is the Abwehr doing this? Maybe we think it'll cleanse our solid souls, knowing we helped get at least one thick-headed, stubborn Jewish spinster to safety. What good is a handful of Jews when the rest of us are being murdered? We don't have much time. Let's go. So many lies. So much deception. Please, Dietrich. Don't win the war only to lose your soul. Don't lose your soul. Dietrich. I'd like you to meet my superior, General Hans Oster, and Rudolf Freiherr von Gerstorff. We're very grateful to you, Bonnefer. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, is this meeting confidential? I'm meeting a friend here. I didn't Your expect... papers. Thank you. My father was a pastor in Dresden. I remember him saying, be only afraid of the wrath of God. Are you serious? I'm indispensable to the war effort? <laughs> Our war effort, at any rate. And we know what we are doing. All right. So what do I do now? Where do I report? You're off to Sweden to see an old friend. So, my son, you're a soldier now. Yes, and one with a mission. The people I represent are earnest and honest. The resistance is very real. There is men with power and influence who... who have made careful plans for a government after Hitler's assassination. Assassination? You speak so freely of murder? I know it is sinful, George, I know, and I've been thinking about this very often. But I choose the lesser of two evils. I believe it is worse to be evil than to do evil. Can Hitler be got rid of? He tried. So far unsuccessfully, but also undetected. George, it would help us to have some word from the Allies, that they acknowledge our existence. Go on. But Allied demands for an unconditional surrender have only strengthened German resolve, and that makes our task all the more difficult. George, many accept that Hitler must go. But what happens after that? Surely you understand that as Germans we must ask that question. If we're destroyed. The Allies are not convinced that Germany can be purged without military defeat. After three years of war, very few can distinguish Germans from Nazis. However upright, these people you speak of have made war on us. Please, please be careful, Dietrich. The tide is turning. If your resistance are going to act, they must act now. The best of British chemicals. Up their stock. Watch carefully, Van Gerstorff. 
It's primed here. Detonated here. All right. In your pockets? Wait a minute. You, you're going to ignite them in your pockets? But they're suicide. But I take him with me. Why are you showing me all this? Why am I here? Will God forgive me? I don't know. But I do know that we have a merciful and forgiving God. Would you bless me? Well, remember the words of Jesus. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. seem so self-assured all the way up there. I never really learned to ride. Perhaps someday. Hope. What are you writing? Oh, just some, some ideas, some notes on ethics. Ethics? Ugh. I know. I know it's not very exciting. Why not? If you've written, may I? <laughs> Go ahead. You can read my writing. Being evil is worse than doing evil. Is that true? I think so. Better for a lover of truth to tell a lie than for a liar to tell the truth. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Really? Really. <laughs> to escape sin may be the ultimate guilt. Do you believe that? I wrote it. Yes, but do you believe it? I wouldn't have written it if I didn't believe it. You never taught us anything like this in confirmation class. I did. No, you didn't. I didn't? No. We weren't at war then. By the way, have you heard from your father and brother recently? Yes. They're on the Russian front. I'm sure he must miss you. No, 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 don't put it out. Leave your father here, with us. American music. I suppose I shouldn't be listening. Why not? America is our enemy. The Nazis say their music is degenerate. The Nazis are really not qualified to judge degeneracy. Actually, I thought they were. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, you're right. They are. Now that my father and brother are gone, there's nobody to dance with. really learned it properly, but
They were both killed in Stalingrad. She's inconsolable to lose both your father and your brother. I thought you might help. I wish I had an answer for you, Maria. Forgive me, I, I don't. must learn to take each day as if it were our last. We owe it to God and to ourselves to believe in the future. Do you truly believe in the future? <laughs> yes, Maria, yeah, I do. I truly believe in the future. And I should like to share that future with you. You're engaged now. Good God, how old is she? She's a child. She's 17. 17? For God's sake, don't tell her anything. I won't, Hans. She faints with fear. I can barely look crystal straight in the eye anymore. Every time someone knocks on the door, she dies a little. We've got to keep our fingers crossed today. It takes a very special person to do what von Gerstow is doing right now. Carl, it's for you. We are being watched. Well, it's Manfred Röder, military prosecutor. As soon as our call comes, I will arrest him. Or he'll arrest us. Someone must have talked. Why else would he be here? Failed. And von Gerstorf? I must get back now. I should warn Canaris about Röder. Even if he won't listen. to go through your files, destroy anything that shouldn't be there. Also, I want a letter from you, dated in 1939, offering your services to intelligence. Long before you were drafted, it must be clear that you were only up there from the very beginning. List all the influential foreign churchmen you can spy on abroad. It can't be serious, Hans. Better to name foreigners they can't hurt than let them catch friends they can. Dietrich, put your scruples aside. And we, Better do something about the dossier. Burn it. There's enough in there to kill us all. Oh, Crystal, we can't. We've got to. It's our 
only proof. We need it. For later. In the upper headquarters in Sossen, there are some old archives and records. That's where I'll hide it. Philosophy. Well, well, aren't we cultured? What actually made your husband move from justice to intelligence? I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. What are you doing here? What is the meaning of this? Let my wife go immediately. Right now! No. Arrest that man. What's happened? Why are they arresting people? I wish I knew, Mother. Whatever. Go, Dietrich, now. You've got travel papers. And leave Hans and Crystal to explain everything? I can't. You must. Before they get here. No, Mother. No. They're here. Pastor Bonhoeffer does not need handcuffs. <coughs> You're not well, Dr. Bonhoeffer? He won't use his blanket. It's damp and dirty and so all it stinks. We will supply Dr. Bonhoeffer with clean blankets, as many as he wishes. I've given permission for your family to send you books, and uh, you may write to them. May I, uh, may I write to my fiancé? We will see. Dr. Rüder, I still have not been informed why I'm here. Pastor, please. <laughs> what kind of statement is that? I may not have been born into a cultured family such as your own, but I'm not stupid. W what do you think you're here for? I'm 
afraid I haven't the vaguest idea. Then let me help you. You're here to tell the truth, Dr. Bonhoeffer. That can't be too difficult for a man of God, can it? I have nothing to hide. Good. Then let us begin. Whosoever resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall be damned. Paul to the Romans 13. You quoted that in your discipleship, is that correct? Yes. Are we here to, to discuss theology? Indeed not. You're not listening. I've already told you I'm not as cultured as you are. I'm not an intellectual, nor am I religious. You must make allowances for my ignorance of, of theology. Am I correct in assuming that, that despite what you've written here, you have knowingly put yourself at the risk of being damned? <laughs> well, you, you have resisted the new German order and advised your seminarians against taking the oath of loyalty to the Fuhrer. I did not resist the state. I resisted the state's takeover of the church. If, if, if that is a crime, it is an old one. I see. Well then, have you more recent crimes you would prefer to share with me? Well, I've been led to believe that uh, you're an agent for the Abwehr, military intelligence, with special protection. Why did you withhold this information at your arrest? It's not a crime to be in the Abwehr. Or are you hiding something? Speak up. I'm not authorized to speak about classified work. Work? What work? Well, the work Since when is it classified from the Gestapo? I, I thought... And why you? What secrets did intelligence expect a minister to secure? Hmm? Uh, tell me, when did you begin your work with uh, intelligence? Late 39, I think. You think? Hmm. Oh, yes, <laughs> quite right. You applied in 1939, at least that's what it says here in this letter to Hans von Donani. We found this on your desk the afternoon you were arrested. It looks like the original. And we've been wondering why you have the original and not intelligence. That is, if it was sent to them at all. Again, I ask, are you trying to hide something? <clears throat> and those trips you've taken abroad, those were <laughs> rare privileges. We both know that these conferences in wartime are not what they appear to be. Every country that sends an emissary expects information in return. That's why you were permitted to attend, yes? I always reported to foreign affairs on my return. Yeah, rubbish. I've, I've read those reports. Nothing. Is there anything you wish to add? No. <laughs> Doesn't it strike you as odd, Bonhoeffer? that I am interested only in the truth, and that you, a minister, seek by your silence to evade it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What do you want? I want you to know that you're not alone. I'm a minister. Would you like to pray with me? I don't believe in God. What are you doing there? I'm trying to pray with my neighbor. He cries day and night. 
Crutch? Yeah. No. I won't do any good. It's going to be short any day now. Young kid. Got mixed up with the wrong people. And his executioners, are they the right people? If he was your son, would you want me to help? If you can hear me, put your hands on the wall, as if we were touching. Mine are here too. Lord, it's dark in me. In you as day. I am alone. But you will stay. I am afraid. You'll never cease. I am at war. In you is peace. Thought you might like to know. The boy from the next cell is very calm. Surprised everyone. He was executed this morning. Thank you for telling me. Word of advice, be careful about being so smart. People start to believe you think you're better than them. Nobody likes that. You say your faith is based on the New and Old Testaments. Including the Jewish prophets. Their descendants are the enemy of our state. Yet you have repeatedly welcomed them, the Jewish enemy, into your home. They've been your friends, your colleagues, your family. Your twin sister is married to a Jew. I had a little contact with Gerhard Leipolz. But you were asked to speak at his father's funeral. I declined. Arian scruples? I felt it was not appropriate. No guilt pangs? Did you or did you not later help Leibholz to escape? I did not. You lie. He left Germany at a time when it was not a crime for Jews to immigrate. In fact, it was encouraged. You personally avoided the call-up. That is a capital crime. Dr. Röder, you forget that I joined the Abwehr. Fresh blankets. Oh, thank you. Just remember, it's the people you know that counts, not God. I think God is aware of that. Oh, well, you know him personally, eh? Yeah? Getting to know him. But it takes time. That poem you said to the boy, do you write that? <laughs> yes. Put it on paper. I'll hand it round if you like. Operation 7, the Jews. We know all about it, Bonhoeffer. Well, why shouldn't you? There's nothing to hide. But Jews as German agents? <laughs> why not? I assume they had families, people they hoped to protect by working with the intelligence. What was their mission? That was classified. I wasn't informed. There was no mission. They had all the relevant papers. Military intelligence cleared it with the Gestapo. I suppose it amused you to pull the wool over there. I Gestapo. don't see how the Gestapo knows everything, don't they? <laughs> How much did they pay you? I beg your pardon. The Jews, how much did they pay you? 
How much was in it for you, for Donani, for Oster? I don't understand. I was paid my expenses. One of your colleagues was picked up in Prague in possession of illegal U.S. dollars. The, the, Operation 7 was a scheme to get money from wealthy Jews in England and America. The up there is corrupt to the core. Well, don't you believe me? You, the state prosecutor, Dr. Ruda, must believe you. So you've been racketeering, Pastor? It's not very good for the soul, is it? Nor does it go unpunished. Or have you been duped? A lamb amongst wolves. Perhaps that's why they needed you, to, to camouflage their crimes. Dr. Ruda, please. Perhaps you would like to tell me what you know about military intelligence. I already have. No. You have not. You have a visitor. Sit here, sit over there. Dietrich. I missed you so much. I've been given visiting rights. They didn't tell you? I've moved to Berlin. To your parents' house. Your sister Ursula came last weekend with Rüdiger. They're in very good health, you know. And Ivad and Renata are married now. They want you to know how happy they are. Ivad will be posted to Italy soon. And Renata is expecting her child. And I have to confess that I've sinned. I stole your book, Creation and Fall. I keep it by my bedside now. I sometimes fall asleep in the middle of a sentence, and in the morning I wake up. Can't remember where I was. Theology is not the easiest bed I'm reading. But I don't care. I feel your presence in every word. We are all eagerly planning the wedding. Shall I tell you about it? We've agreed to keep it to the close family. Oh. Well, that makes it only about a hundred. <laughs> yes. And we thought summer would be the best. August. August is beautiful in our village. Yes. August. It's a beautiful month. And I shall teach you how to ride. I should like that. Our first kiss. Not very proper of me. No, that's me. I'm, I'm not. Speak up! I brought you fresh clothes. They will give them to you. And I've brought you something to read. I hope I've chosen the right thing. Rilke, the allergies. Thank you. Now that I know you like Rilke, I'll read it too. After you. Please read it. Carefully. And return it back to me.
ask me if I'd ever done next. That's enough. Uh, you must leave. Kiss me again. Thank you for allowing me here. It won't be long. Hold me in your heart. Miss, you must be very careful when you come here. People like Dr. Hoda has no conscience. Nothing. Please, do what you can for him. He's precious. Huh? Tell me, what does a girl like that see in you? Honestly, a knobloch, I've been asking myself the same question. I can't figure you out. All right, you tell me straight. Are you lying to him? We're not obliged to tell the truth to everyone who asks. Only to God. And to Buddha. He's got no right to the truth. No? No. Well, consider this. If a teacher asks a boy in front of the whole class if his father came home drunk again the night before, is the boy obliged to answer yes? No. Exactly. The teacher is abusing his power in asking that question. The honest answer is for the boy to lie, defending his father, and lie for all he's worth. I carry a letter with me everywhere. So if I'm caught on the bus or in an air raid, or if I'm waiting in line at the crochets, just take it out and read. The way we found each other, so shortly before my arrest, are such clear signs of Hominum confusione de providencia. Uh, for man's confusion. God's provision. God's provision. I looked it up. So if I can learn that, you can surely learn to ride a horse. Things are moving fast. Tycoon knows the war is lost. Knobloch and I are working on a plan to get you out. Maria, be careful, for God's sake, please. I love you so much. Wir sind alle 
What's new? Oh, God. Why do I do this? Why do I feel so guilty listening to our own radio? If it was the BBC. Yes. Anything special? Someone tried to kill Hitler. A bomb. Is he dead? No, the man has a charmed life. The Gestapo's taking the affair to pieces. And what could happen? They don't know much yet. They're only guessing. But Hans kept a dossier. For after the war, he hid it in the affair archives. If the Gestapo finds it... Is Dietrich named? Yes. Yes, I go berserk. The escapes next week. We have to hurry. Stauffenberg's dead. They were all killed. Dozens of them. I have night duty next Wednesday. I put a pair of plumbers overalls under your mattress. You leave with me. Both of us together. Culture. Put it amongst us food. You're going to? There's no other choice. Who am I? They often tell me I step from my cell's confinement calmly, cheerfully, firmly, like a squire from his country house. Who am I? They also tell me I bore the days of misfortune equably, smilingly, proudly, like one accustomed to win. Am I then really all that which other men tell of? Or am I only what I myself know of myself? Restless and longing and sick, like a bird in a cage, struggling for breath, as though hands were compressing my throat, yearning for colors, for flowers, for the voices of birds, thirsting for words of kindness, for neighborliness. Or am I both at once a hypocrite to some, and to myself a contemptible weakling? Who am I? Whoever I am, you know, dear God, I shall always belong to you.
I can't run. But you can't stay here. They kill you. Please, don't do this to me. No, you never think I don't love you. I love you. I love you. You must know that. I want you. I want life. But there will be reprisals if I go. Hans, where do you go? Klaus, my family, yours. But you don't know that. Maria, the prisoners here need me. I tell them this is not an end, but a beginning. But every one of them would flee if they could. But they cannot. They are here. This is their life now. And what about me? What about me? I need you. I love you. Maria, it is here that I became the man you love. where your God gets you now. What happened? I've heard a dossier in the Opfa archives. You were in it. You know what this means, don't you? Yes. This is what you wanted. being transported. Where? Flossenberg. position for you. We're offering you a chance to save yourself and your family. Your foreign contacts have been communicated to Herr Himmler. He wondered if you might be able to help us negotiate. After reading the Abfair files, we have reason to believe the Allies will listen to you. I, I don't understand. You want me to negotiate with the Allies? Yes. For you. For Germany. For Germany. If you wish to save your friends and your family, I urge you to do this. I thought you wanted to live. What will happen to your lovely Maria? Hope springs eternal. Hope. The last temptation. The answer is no, Dr. Reuter. No. Taxi to oblivion. Not like any taxi I've ever seen. It's a taxi especially designed to exterminate the unsuspecting traveler. You think you're going to the Ritz for dinner, but then on the way there, you get gassed in your limousine. Well, the good thing is that no one gets stuck with the dinner bill. <laughs> Gentlemen, come on, for heaven's sake. Man. Sorry about that, old chap. I'm Payne Best, British, not so secret service. Hello. 
Cochran, Stalin's best friend. Cochran, in British humor. Здравствуйте, господин священник. They are putting in wood. Fuel, Russia. It needs fuel. But not wood. They can't use wood. We will suffocate. I'll tell you, we will suffocate. So it is an extermination chamber. Did I hear right? Russia. The eminent Nazi doctor. I was hoping to meet you. But at the war crimes trial, what would you hear amongst us dregs? Fallen out of favor with the party, have you? <laughs> Poor sod. Get in there. All of you. We are going to Flossenburg. I recognize the area. You worked at that concentration camp yet, Russia? I know it. Oh? What beastly experiments did you perform there? Watching some naked men freezing in the cold? How long it took them to die? See what color they turned? Did you keep notes? And now the Nazis want to get rid of you, do they? Oh, poor boy, poor boy. You bastard Nazi! Should have let him kill him. Come on, sir. Come down. I don't understand how you can protect that man. Because he believes in his stupid God. He thinks he's holy. You really do believe in this day and age? <coughs> in this godforsaken death trap? <gasps> yes. In this godforsaken death trap. Prisoner Mueller, step down. Can you read this name? I'm with him. We were in prison together. Look after them. What about the other prisoners? Where do they go? That's your problem. Then give yourself one. I should have gone. All in God's time. What away? Axel's gone. She's bust. So what are we going to do now? Don't know, really. Wait for Christmas or the Americans. So close. The war must be almost over. We'll put in a good word for you with the Allies. I need orders. I need an order. I need an order. Are you Zipach? Yes. Father, Gestapo, you're relieved. Like 
Like everything else these days, it's very confusing. It seems to be about Admiral Canaris. They found his diaries and arrested him. I thought he was one of Hitler's chums. Anyway, it seems as if Hitler's in a royal snit. Apparently, that was Hitler's response to Canaris. <laughs> No card for anyone named Bonhoeffer. No listing of anyone with that name. Was he here? No. I think we are going to be waiting here until the Americans arrive. He's one atheist. Don't mind me. Well, that's the point, Ukovin. I do. I've been thinking about what Christ will mean in the future. We'll need a new form of Christianity in a time when the world has come of age. I think there's only one purpose of religion in a modern world where people must come and share each other's suffering and share the suffering of God in a godless world. We need more than just religion in the former sense. We need faith and Jesus Christ at its center. Real Christianity means sharing each other's pain. It is not for us to prophesy the day when men will once more ask God that the world be changed and renewed. But when that day arrives, there will be a new language. Perhaps quite non-religious, but liberating and redeeming. As was Jesus' language. It'll shock people. It'll shock them by its power. It'll be the language of a new truth, proclaiming God's peace with men. Die 
Dietrich Bonhoeffer, you're to go with this man. Where are you taking me? Flossenburg. Prisoners trip. This is the end. No. Thank you. 